what you get for your dollar, the price and the capabilities of the Haas equipment really fits in well with our production cycle. Hi, I'm Jordan Martin from Martin Automatic here in Rockford, Illinois today. So Martin Automatic is a family company started in 1969. We specialize in printing, packaging, and converting equipment. Fairly recently, we transitioned from what you consider an all-manual shop to more of a CNC shop. So within the last five years, we've acquired all the Haas equipment you see in this video. We need machines that are easy to set up and that can really tackle any challenge thrown at them. We have parts as small as things that fit in the palm of your hand to large weldments that require large format machining capability. While dipping our toes into CNC, our first machine we purchased was a Haas Via 5 XT. And as soon as we started running that, immediately we knew it was the right decision and we began investing in more equipment. Originally, we never thought we'd have a use for 5-axis equipment until you really start to study the problem. I think most people typically look at 5-axis and they think of really high-end aerospace machining and impeller blades and double curvature, and we really don't do anything like that in-house for our product. So it really never seemed to make sense for us until we started looking at the labor savings that the automation of a trunnion or whatnot would bring us. Uh, if we have a part that has operations on four or five sides, and they're all fairly simple operations, which most of our parts are, we're gonna have an operator interrupted maybe every two minutes if it was a three-axis mill to flip a part. And you're also trusting your stock to be square as you reorient in the vise, and there's more setup or more fixtures. Transitioning to five-axis now, we don't have to deal with anywhere near as many fixtures. We don't have to worry about stock that might not be square on all sides as we're flipping it in the vise but the key benefit is the fact that it takes a part that would interrupt an operator maybe every two minutes, and now it might be every eight to 10 minutes. And now I can have one operator run two machines, which is a huge advantage. The GM2 5AX is another good example of how 5-axis has benefited our workflow. Uh, if you look at the parts that we're machining back here, they're not what you consider a 5-axis part. It, you know, it's a big piece of structural steel, it's a weldment, and there's no curves, there's no, there's no nothing on it. It's very simple. You know, machine a face, tap a hole for a linear rail, and you say, why are you using a five-axis machine for that? Well, that part's heavy, it takes a bit of setup. Sometimes, especially if it's tubular steel, you have to shim it to make sure it's flat. And if you have to do an operation on three sides of the part, that's three times you're getting a crane and you're trying to set the thing back up, and you're trying to make sure that you have some type of reference to make sure that all the holes in the various faces are aligned correctly. Whereas with the five axis, we bolt it up, and again, the operator can walk away and either go cam another part, uh, set up another machine. The labor savings is amazing when you're not taking large, heavy parts and trying to refixture them after 10 minutes of operations. So here and there too, we try to take advantage of automation where we can. Uh, as I said earlier, a lot of our parts don't fit the lights out machining model because they're fairly short cycle time and all that kind of stuff. However, we have been able to take advantage of some of the Y-axis lathes with bar feeders such as RST30Ys we purchased from Haas. Having the bar feeder to make simple things that we know we're gonna make hundreds of, like even small spacers. You know, Again, not fancy parts, none of that. However, the fact that we can run them overnight with no labor, no attention, lowers the cost of production, in turn lowering the cost of goods sold. We have a very uh, complex production cycle going on under this roof. I mean, it, over in that corner, we literally have raw bar stock and raw tube stock coming in, and we transform it into fairly complicated automation equipment. So we do everything we can in-house. Uh, we do our own painting, we do our own welding, we do our own sawing machining, assembly, engineering, all under one roof. And what you get for your dollar, the price and the capabilities of the Haas equipment really fits in well with our production cycle.